Alright, hi guys, Dane here, coming at you from a weird camera angle, because I now have a tripod again, so I can use that, but there's a big stack of books on my floor where I would put the tripod, so we're going to have to deal with this. Today I'm going to be doing the TBR tag, I was tagged to do this by Charlie Heathcote, so thank you Charlie, I will link to his channel below. My understanding of this is that it was originally done on a blog, and then it's been kind of ported for YouTube. Yes, I know the camera just moved, it'll be alright, also I have some jeans drying through. Oh my lord, it's moving some more. It's fine, we're fine, we're still going to keep going. My understanding of this is that it was originally created on a blog and then has been ported to YouTube. There are about 12 questions and I'm going to jump on in. So, question number one, how do you keep track of your TBR pile? Well, I've been trying to cut down on my TBR pile recently, so, um, and I'm not going to tell you how, sh how short it's because I think that's one of the questions later. But um, because of that, it's a lot easier to keep track of. I basically have two little tiny bookcases and one of my main books and then one of my bedtime books. And... Um, yeah, that's that's it. I also use Goodreads as well, so I have my currently reading on Goodreads. Question number two, is your TBR mostly print or ebook? My TBR is 100% print. I only read print books. Question number three, how do you determine which book from your TBR to read next? Usually, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a mood reader. I normally have like what I'm going to read next planned out. Uh, actually, because I've just started the current book I'm on, I'm not too sure what I'm going to read next. Um, but again, I just go to one of those two bookcases and pick the next most appropriate book out. Question number four, a book that's been on your TBR list the longest. Ooh, um, I don't know because I've actually, again, I've got through quite a lot of those recently. Uh, I'm trying to see what I've got down here. I guess we're going to go Jailbird by Kurt Vonnegut. I think I've had that for about five years now. Question number five, a book you recently added to your TBR. This is also difficult. Um, I'm going to go for um, Blood of Elves by, um, what's his name? Andrzej Sikowski. And actually, I bought it because I'm slowly working through that series and it hasn't arrived yet. I guess that's te technically on my TBR, but it still hasn't arrived and it's been like four weeks now. So I don't know if it's even coming. Question number six, a book on your TBR strictly because of its beautiful cover. I don't have an answer for this because, again, I've been cutting down on my TBR and... I've kind of already read all the ones with the beautiful covers. I mean, I guess this is kind of pretty. That's quite nice. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the Road's a Little Dribbling. More Notes from a Small Island by Bill Bryson. Question number seven. A book on your TBR that you never plan on reading. Well, again, I've been trying to reduce the size of my TBR. So anything that I realised I had no immediate plans of reading, I got rid of. Including some like Moby Dick where I'm like, maybe I'll read it in 20 years. I just have no, no interest in reading it now. Question number eight-ish. An unpublished book on your TBR that you're excited for. Um, Stephen King's new book, whatever that is. I'm pretty sure he's got a new book coming out. Question number nine-ish. A book on your TBR that basically everyone's read but you. Yeah, like the, the closest that I have to that would be like Kidnapped by Robert Louis Stevenson, which I would say not everybody has read, but it's a classic, you know? Question number whatever. A book on your TBR that everyone recommends to you. Again, I've been trying to reduce the size of my TBR, so I don't, I don't have anything like that, mate. I've not got anything like that. Yeah, no, I've, I've not got anything like that. Richard Branson's autobiography, that's the best I've got. It's called The Autobiography. Question number, who cares by this point? A book on your TBR that you're dying to read. Well, again... I've been reducing my TBR, so I've read I've read all of the stuff that I was really excited about. I'm literally scraping the barrel at the moment. I guess I am now quite excited to read this just because it's more notes from a small island, and I enjoyed notes from a small island. And question number the final. How many books are on your TBR shelf? There are currently 40 books on my TBR shelf, which is a big drop from the 165 or so it was about a year ago. So I'm doing good. So there we have it. That was the TBR tag. I'm going to tag a few people. I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to go into my comments and just pick out some people who recently said things. If it loads, my internet's shocking today. All right. So we've got Charlie Heathcote who tagged me. So I can't tag him anyway. Uh, we've got Nikki. I read past my bedtime. Jay Shea. He'd be an interesting one actually. Uh, Night Fear, Lost in a Bookcase, Alex Black Reads, of course, uh, Bookish, Written in Blood, and I will do my usual Todd the Librarian as well. 
So there we have it. That's what I made of the TBR tag. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. Let me know what's on your TBR as well, because um, I'm always looking for new ideas. Even though I'm trying not to actively buy stuff at the moment, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye. -bye.